this is Samuel again and welcome to Africa's Healthy Choices. It's always a pleasure to be with you and even so today because we are talking about fruits and vegetables. So this is it guys, this is it, fruits and vegetables. All we talk about with healthy eating, healthy diet, this is what we are talking about, fruits and vegetables. I always say that God's promise of healthy living is manifested in fruits and vegetables. Again, God's promise of healthy living is manifested in fruits and vegetables. So we start out with fruits. Now, as we said, Africa's Healthy Choices is all about the clinical research. The research is showing, according to American Heart Association, we need two to three servings of fruits and of fruits a day. Two to three servings of fruits a day. Now, you can also get two to three servings of vegetables. That is fine. There are a lot of these uh, vitamin companies out there that are telling people you need 10 to 11. No, there's recent research that is showing that the minute you go beyond five, you're actually not getting any additional benefit from five. So stick with it, make life very simple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run through some of the very common fruits that we usually consume as Africans and give you a few tidbits here and there, okay? So let's do it. Now, we start out with everybody's favorite, bananas. As I said, we only need two, three, seven. So do not overeat. You see, that's one thing about losing weight. If you overeat, you are gonna run in trouble. And these things, some of them come in with a lot of calories. So be very careful. Banana, usually I advise people to get a smaller one. I actually went to the store and thinking this is a medium banana, it's apparently not. One medium banana comes in with about 110 calories. This banana, when I weighed it yesterday, is about 200 calories. For one banana, that is a lot. So you always want to get a smaller size banana and all you need are two. So don't go eating three of these because this is 200. If I end up with three bananas in a day, that's 600 on my banana, okay? So one banana, two bananas is fine. Just make sure you add something else. Africans like to eat their bananas with peanuts. It's good. Peanut, this simple peanut is actually not the best nut. The best one is walnut. This one has a lot of colors. If you take a look at the back, it says 39 pieces, which is about a scoop of your hands or a handful, is 170 calories. So if you eat three bananas with one scoop, you are talking about eight, almost 800 calories of just your, um, your banana and peanut. That is way too much. So get a smaller banana, you may or may not add the peanut. It's absolutely up to you. Watermelons are good. Watermelons has the fresh richness uh, of redness. Anytime you see red, like tomatoes, you are talking about lycopene. Lycopene is a type of antioxidant that has been shown to be very cardioprotective, protects the heart, and also very anti-cancer. That means they fight against cancers. They are known as antioxidants. So, Carotene, known as the lycopene, is found in this one. I absolutely recommend it. It has a very low glycemic index, so for those who are diabetics, uh, you can actually consume this and not be in trouble. Mangoes, another favorite of mine. I love mangoes. Very low in glycemic index and high in fiber. It has one of the highest fiber, and you can even see just by cutting it, and it's excellent. Now we are coming to the big guys. But even before I come to one of my big eyes, let's do orange. Oranges are good, a lot of vitamin C. Everybody loves them. Not too many calories if you eat them. I recommend against orange juices. We don't know where the oranges are coming from. We don't know what they're mixing with. Absolutely against orange juices. Stick with your orange and ban orange juice. Okay, now pears. Pears and apples are, we call one of them the rock stars of fruits. So a pear, a simple pear comes in with about 70% of fiber, 11% of vitamin C. That is excellent. 17% of fiber, that means just by eating this pear, I can get almost 20% of my daily fiber need. And it comes in with a lot of antioxidants. Both the pear and the apples, great sources of antioxidants, very good for the heart and the brain and against cancers. Again, the pear, 50% of the fiber in the pear is in the skin. So I actually want you to consume the skin of the pear. A lot of us, when you buy the pear, through moving it out of the car, it gets really bruised up. So we are not able to, we just cut off the skin. But you, and it contains a lot of phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are also a type of cancer-fighting agent that God has placed in here for everybody to consume. 
So I absolutely recommend pear. Pear between pear and apple, they are from the same family. You can go for any of them. But wonderful, wonderful fruit. I want to go to, to the apples. The apples are also great. Vitamin C and fiber, vitamin C and fiber for apples. The, the fiber is not as much as a pear. It's about a good 11%. That is fine. But you come in with a lot of antioxidant. This one is known as the red delicious apple. Red delicious apple. These are the grainy smith apples. People don't know which one to pick. We think they're all the same. Actually, the red one is better. Anytime you see red, I say it's good. The red one, that within the skin, if you eat the skin, you come in with a lot of antioxidant. Great stuff for you. And as I said, oh, you don't need to eat this one and then call it a day. Once a day is fine, or once every other day is fine, and then you make up for it with the other fruits. All right, now let's do kiwi. Kiwis are good. Just one kiwi gives you 85% of vitamin C. Absolutely, 85%. So between a kiwi and an orange, you are done with vitamin C. Then you don't need to take vitamin C supplement. You don't need to take it. You can get all the fruits, all the vitamin C source that you want. A little bit of vitamin E is about 7%. Vitamin E is also another antioxidant. There are three antioxidants. Vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin A. Anytime you see those, go for them. Now, strawberries. I love, everybody loves strawberries. That's another favorite. Talking about vitamin C, one cup can give you 113% of vitamin C. Absolutely. One cup, 113% of vitamin C. Go for it. It also contains selective cardio, um, cardioprotective phytonutrients. If I say cardioprotective, that means they protect your heart. If you have something like this in a, you know, a little bit of it in a, in a day or in every other day, you make sure that you're consuming two servings. So one cup of, um, of uh, strawberries and maybe one or two oranges or maybe one or two bananas is enough. One cup of it has a very strong protective effect on your heart. Prevents, you know, all these heart conditions. Heart diseases, as you already know or you already learned, is the number one cause of our death in America here. The other one, I like um, raspberries. Raspberries are good. Africans don't like eating raspberries. They are awesome. You can always put, mix it with your yogurt and it's great. Great source of uh, phytonutrients again, great source of anti-cancer and cardioprotective effect. Now, the other one, if you're talking about rock stars, fruit rock stars, this is it. Blueberries. So of all the fruits on earth, fruit, the one that has the highest amount of antioxidant is the blueberry, believe it or not, the blueberry. Africans, again, are not big consumers of, of uh, blueberry. Personally, I know I am not a big consumer of blueberry, so I'm not going to make it a big deal. But for those who can, I say it is great. For those who can, I say it is great. And if you have not tried it, I say try it. You, this is a fruit rock star or a live rock star. All you need is a scoop or a cup a day and you are in good shape. Or every other day and you are in good shape. Now, I have this here to demonstrate something. That because we are in such a hurry, we, we don't have time to do so many things, we should find ways of incorporating fruit into our daily um, eating. One of the ways you did it, as I already said, is mix it with a yogurt for a breakfast. Now, this yogurt has all the good strength of proteins, which I'll talk about in a little bit, all the good nutrients in there. Another thing you can do is to do a smoothie. This is Nutribullet. I'm not being paid by Nutribullet. This is not a commercial for them. We only got this because we have it at home. What I do every day, or at least most days, about a good five to six days in a week, you get any combination of fruits, chop it up, put it in here, and then make sure that you are getting some of the rock stars in there. And rock stars being something like a blueberry, it's an excellent source. You can just add water, you can add ice, you can add even yogurt, you can even add milk, a cup of milk in here and that will be an excellent breakfast. So two or three servings in there and that is excellent for you. Now, as I'm wrapping up, one thing I didn't talk about are avocados. Africans love the avocados. We see it's so small, we take it, we chop it up and then we eat the whole thing. Avocado, if you're trying to lose weight, has a lot of calories. It has good fat. Anytime you see fat, you know the calories are on your way. So this avocado has about 350 calories. 350 for this little avocado. Now, that is way too much. So what I advise with avocado, cut it in half, 
consume it with your anything. Africans eat it with their, uh, their rice, their yams. They also eat it with uh, so many other things. They can just mix it with any food, uh, even their bread, and it's good. But don't eat a whole avocado. It's loaded with calories and it will get you in trouble. There are several papers out there talking about the quality of fruits and vegetables, the good effect it has on you. And this paper specifically talks about the anti-cancer diet. And there's a publication in Nutrition Journal, one of the good journals in, um, in nutrition. And it says, I'm just going to read, when diet is complied to guidelines here, it's um, likely to decrease colorectal cancer, breast cancer, and even prostate cancer by 60 to 70 percent if you are eating these fruits and vegetables in the right serving. That means two to three servings a day. It also says here, even for something like lung cancer, which everybody thinks lung cancer is a disease of smokers, they are saying you can cut down the risk by 40 to 50 percent. We're going to have this article on our website. You can always check it out. Guys, this is it. The next video is going to talk about vegetable. That's another rock star group. And uh, those between these two are absolutely life extending, life saving foods. Thank you again, and I'm going to see you in the next video.